community partners are really on board. They're because you know we typically work with directors of agencies or people in charge of their programs. They have a really uh, wonderful understanding of where it is they want their project to go and what they need specifically. Um, one thing that I do, as I said, sometimes these projects can balloon. And so one of my roles is to really try to interact with a community partner. And I have, uh, in the now um, five years that we've had this course, two times I have um, had to step in and say, this is what we can do in 10 weeks, that we're going we're gonna to pull back a little bit because these projects, um, you know, there's sort of, well, boy, this is a great idea, maybe we could try this. So the more we can identify what we're going to be doing and what it involves in the very early part of the quarter, the better. And that's also why we have this calendar of deliverables, of what we're doing and when we're going to have things to you. One challenge that we sometimes have is it really depends on the organization, but if we're doing interviews, um, having a good, quiet place to do interviews um, sometimes is a challenge. Typically, students have to go back and reshoot, and I just tell them that from the very beginning. So that's an issue, and so if I alert them ahead of time, that's helpful. Um, the community partner, a lot of times when we're working with social service agencies, we need interviews with people. We're very dependent on the community partner to identify people who would be willing to participate and also would be good interviewees. So I would say timing, getting things scheduled. Um, the community partners are very busy, very, very busy. And so um, we do sometimes run into issues where uh, we're not necessarily getting things back from the community partner uh, as quickly as we need them. And again, that's a, I, I really believe that the students in their teams um, should have their first crack at handling that. And when I divide the teams up, there are typically three or four. And I expect them all to do everything because on any team, it's good for them. But there is a team leader, and that team leader's role is to interact with the partner. And so they need to really keep me informed. So if there are things that they need that they're not getting in a timely manner, that's when I step in and write, email a community partner, call the community partner. Another thing that I've found to be really helpful is to have the community partner come to our class. So um, on a 10-week session, we spend the first week getting organized, and the partners come and make their pitch. And then really within the next week, we identify who we're going to be working with, what the teams are, and what they're going to be doing. And then uh, some of the class time is devoted to these curricular things, but I also really build in a lot of the class time to students working on their projects. And so there might be a time when they go out and they do interviews or they go out and they take photographs. Uh, some of our projects are not on campus. We partnered with Lummi Island, for example, with the Native Americans there who are working on a garden project to deal with issues of diabetes there. And obviously students had to go to Lummi Island to do those interviews. So. There is class time built in for students to do those trips, but I also build in class time for the partners to come to class and to meet with me. So again, I'm there and the students present what they've done up to that point, and then the partner weighs in, and that's really invaluable. We had one partner um, for Hope House where the person who was our partner was so on top of stuff. He worked in social service agencies and in uh, PR, and he was very, very aware of what, what needed to be done in terms of who they needed to reach and what the point of the project was. And so he was great in getting back with critiques and reformulating, if you will, uh, brochures and things like that. And I find that very helpful. I, I think that's really useful. And that often happens in the classroom itself.